Hello everybody, nice to see you all back for this week's video. And this week's video is a video uh, which I made on a request. And um, this week's video is all about a Gantt chart from a project planning. So please watch and enjoy. Well, what we're going to do today is make this Gantt chart. It's a project planning. You can see the different tasks in here. The dates are over here on the horizontal axis. And you can see the different bars with the green, which indicates uh, the progress of each task. And um, you can see a line here, which indicates the today's date. So you can easily see the uh, progress of your project. And uh, you see the data series, uh, your data here, which you are going to use to make this uh, beautiful uh, Gantt chart. Um, what do we see in our data? Data, it's the uh, different tasks. We have a start date, a duration in, da in days, and an end date. The percentage complete is here, and here are the days complete, and this is today's date. Well, the um, it's a backward uh, scheduling here, so we only need to uh, enter the end date of the last task. So when I change this, for example, to 7 November, you see all dates are changing based on our... Uh, um, due date of the last task, due date of our project. The percentage complete is also yellow. Yellow indicates it has to be uh, filled in. It's the percentage completed. I can change this one, for example, to 60, and you see the days complete uh, is changing. So this data we are going to use for our Gantt chart. Um, I'm going to delete this Gantt chart so we can make our own one. And for that, we first need to insert a stacked bar chart, which is this one. Well, we are going to need to uh, change the data series. And for that, we are going to select data. We're going to remove this one and we're going to add new series. The first series name is the start date. And for that, we are taking the start dates, press enter, and we are going to add a second data series, which is the duration. And that needs to be this column. So we click OK and our horizontal category axis labels are our tasks. So we are going to select these tasks, click OK, click OK again. And here is our uh, first Gantt chart. We are going to uh, change some things first. And uh, for that, we want to um, change the order of the tasks when uh, we want to start with the design phase on the top. So we are going to um, select the um, tasks here, press Ctrl-1 for the options. And we are going to uh, the categories in reverse order. We are on the um, access options menu and we're going to reverse the order of the categories. So now we have the right order. The next thing we want to do is uh, remove these blue bars because that's only the beginning to the start date. For that we can select this data series, go to the fill and line, and we will say no fill and no border. So now it's going to look a bit more like a Gantt chart. We are going to change the color of the orange ones, select it, go to the fill and line, and select a gray color for this, for example. We also don't need these um, vertical lines. Just select it and press delete. Now we are, want this little uh, bar here to move up to here because there is nothing in my project uh, going on in this time frame. So I'm going to change my axis. And for that, I'm selecting it, going to the axis options. And I need to change this, for example, to 400. Well, that's 
a little bit too less, a little bit more, maybe so. No, and this one I can change to, well, for example, 10. Now it's more uh, evenly filled out in my chart. And what we did was um, make our first uh, Gantt chart. Well, now we only have our uh, plant starting date as set out in the time. I'm going to um, also delete this border. And now we want to add a um, percentage complete in each bar. Because we can see the first two tasks are already completed and we are uh, working on the third uh, task. So what we are going to do is um, select the invisible data series, which we just made invisible. Um, and we're going to add, by clicking on the plus sign, the error bars. And we first going to check this box and then go to this arrow and say more options. Um, which error bar do we want? We want only the plus side. It's going to the right and we want no cap. Um, which value do we want for the um, error bars? We want a custom specified value. So we're going to check this box and click specify value. And only the positive error value we are going to fill. Delete this and we are going to um, select the days completed for this one. So we're going to just click OK. And you see the error, the error bar is giving you the um, percentage complete here. Um, we're going to um, fill in line on our error bar. And um, we are going to um, change the color to green and um, we're going to increase the width to about 10 points and now you can see there is a green bar for the percentage complete and I can show you by uh, for example changing this zero into 50 percent you can see it's working our uh, fourth task is green for 50 percent well, the last thing we need to do is create a vertical line on the day of today. So you can easily see your progress as of the day of today, and uh, you can see the progress of your planning project. So for that, we are going to add another data series. Uh, just select your chart, uh, click right, and uh, click select data. Click add to add another data series, and the series name we are going to make today, and the values are just for now, this column with the days of today, click OK, just another time, click OK, and we see the gray bars in here. Uh, this is not what we want, so we are going to select only this data series here, click right and say change series chart type. Well, here you see your data series and we want to change today's uh, the data series for today into a scatter plot. So we're just going to select the scatter plot in here, which is this one, and just click OK. Well, we are going, uh, going to change the data series. So right click, select data. You see your data series for today here. Click edit, and now you see there is a X value series and a Y value series. The X value is the horizontal axis, which indicates the dates, which you can see on the axis labels here. So for that, we are going to select the column with the dates of today. And the Y values, I already created a column here for that. We are going to uh, select this one. This is the um, Y axis position of your data series, which is uh, on the uh, middle of each tasks by going by one half, uh, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half. So it's in the middle of your task. So we're going to click OK, another time OK. And now it looks like we lost our data series today. It's not visible anymore. In the meantime, I can delete this axis labels. We don't want to see that. Um, well, when it look like, looks like you uh, lost your data series, you can also always uh, select your chart, 
press Ctrl 1 for your chart, uh, format chart area window, and you can go to this little arrow here and you see Series Today. It's here. And when you select it, you see your data series is here, but it's all hidden. Well, we are going to make a line. So we are going to select uh, under fill and line, we are going to select a solid line. You see the line appears here. We are going to change the color of the line into dark red. We are going to uh, add an end arrow type, which is this one. And now um, we have our line. Um, we also want uh, an indicator that this line indicates today. So we can select our data series here. Now you can see all dots are selected. I'm going to click again on only this dot. Now only this dot is selected and I can right click on it and I can click add data label. Well, now it's uh, saying six and a half because the design phase is um, in a different order. So it's half, it's here on six and a half, but we want today here. So we click on it once and we click on it again. So we see the uh, white little circles around it. Uh, please make sure you click twice or uh, else you select all the data series, uh, all the values. Now you only selected this uh, data label. Uh, once you selected it, you can go to uh, your label options. You can uh, click your series name, which is today, and you can uncheck all other boxes. Well, your label position, I want it above my line, so it's nice here. And I can close this window. And when I uh, when I have selected this um, data label, I can just uh, adjust the text color in here. I can make it bold, uh, one uh, dot bigger. And now you see I have a line which indicates today, and I have my Gantt chart here with my uh, progress bars in it. So I can easily see the progress of my uh, project planning and I can see where I am today. So that is how I make my Gantt charts from my project plannings. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did so, please give it a like and uh, don't forget to uh, consider subscribing if you liked my video and want to see more of my videos. And if you have a request for a video, don't hesitate to contact me on LinkedIn or just uh, by the comments on the videos. Thank you all for watching. <laughs>